Louis Armstrong happens to be at the center of a myth. Hello, I'm filmmaker Ben Mackinnon. Thank you for joining me this evening. In these episodes, I'm going to take you on an adventure to seek the truth. The truth that's often lurking just beneath the surface. We're going to look at the way in which truths can be edited, censored, and taken out of context, repurposed, and presented to give the appearance of something other than the truth. In this inaugural episode, episode number one, we're going to use none other than the American icon and legendary trumpeter, Louis Armstrong, who is undoubtedly one of the most influential founders of this great and glorious American music. The myth being that Louis Armstrong invented jazz scatting. Well, tonight we're going to see that Louis Armstrong, in his own words, dispels that myth. This weekend we see the release of a new music documentary on the life of Louis Armstrong. Now, before this film came out, I saw the trailer for it, and I was a little bit disturbed to see that this myth has been perpetuated through some let's call it clever editing. In this excerpt from the film's trailer, we're gonna see Armstrong appearing to confirm the statement that he invented the scat singing. There's a rumor that you invented scat singing. It came to me just like that. Now, Louis Armstrong actually says that in the interview with Dick Cavett, but he says it much further on. This is an instance where a person's recorded words have been edited and taken out of context and have been reassembled to give the impression of something altogether false. I can understand how a filmmaker would play with a myth in their trailer to, um, to get you to click on the movie and buy it. The director, uh, Jenkins, worked with Terrence Blanchard and Wynton Marsalis, so everyone involved with this movie knows better. They know the truth that's hiding beneath the surface. <laughs> Couldn't think of the words there at the end. Don't need no words, don't need no words. Music all we want to about the scene. Now let's watch the interview in question from the Dick Cavett Show taped on July 29, 1970. This is at the start of the interview after Louis Armstrong comes onto the show and is quickly asked by Dick Cavett if the rumor is true. They didn't write no words for that in. What is that? No, it, there's, a, there's, a, there's, that a, there's a rumor that you invented scat singing. Is that possibly, is that true? Well, they, they claim uh, when we was recording uh, Heebie Jeebus. Uh -huh. And um, we get onto this part for the second chorus and they dropped the paper. And uh, the, uh, President in the control booth, he says, keep on singing, see? Yeah. Well, that uh, brought back memories when I was a kid, going around in the quartet on um, Rampart Street in New Orleans, where we get to the part where we didn't know the words, we'd go to scatting and blowing like a trumpet or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it came to me just like that. Only and right. we didn't spoil the master or nothing. So when we finished, Mr. Foreign, he said, well, that's what we'll do. This is where Scat was born. See, now he said it, but I mean, they give me that monocle, you know. But that's where Scat was supposed to start, you know. Yeah. But Jarrell Morton claimed that he ain't some comedian used to scat way back there in the 80s or something. But I wasn't born then, I didn't I argue with him. <laughs> so Louis Armstrong, in his own words, puts to rest the myth that he invented scat singing. Armstrong does leave us a couple of clues as to who the person was that he claims started the myth. Armstrong says it was the president in the booth and refers to him again later as Mr. Foreign. These would appear to indicate that it was Otto K. E. Heinemann, who was the founder and president of OK Records at the time. Otto Heinemann was originally from Riga, Latvia, had a foreign sounding last name and most likely had a thick accent, thus leading Armstrong to refer to him as Mr. Foreign. The whole story regarding the dropping of the music during the recording session is, however, very suspicious for a number of reasons. And I'll go into those details in a separate episode. As it stands, the record is clear that Armstrong did not invent scat singing. He himself explains that he and his friends scatted as children 
on Rampart Street when singing songs. Armstrong was born in 1901, so that would have been in the first decade of the 20th century. Armstrong also says Jelly Roll Morton claims to have been scatting along with the comedian Joe Sims. That would have been in the late 1800s. And we have the 1911 recording by Gene Green, perhaps the first known instance of scat recording. So there is more enough evidence in the record to establish that Armstrong did not invent scat singing. I believe the director and editor made a irresponsible choice in perpetuating that myth in their trailer. And in episode two, we're going to take a look at Elon Musk. Let's pop the lid on that one and see what's going on a little deeper beneath the surface. Okay? All right, I look forward to seeing you in episode two.